Hi everyone, this is Miss Sue Ann from the University City Public Library, and I'm here today with a story time for you all to enjoy. So, before I start, I always like to kind of say hello, and I guess if you've been coming to the library in the past, you know that we say hello a lot before our story times. I've been doing it on video too. Well, let's see if we can sing a welcome and hello song. Are you ready? Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First, we'll say hello to you. Hello. Then we'll read and sing songs, too. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. Are you ready for a story today? I bet you are. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. Oh, yes. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. Mm -hmm. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. I can tell you're all ready. And the stories today are kind of going to be about stories. We're going to have a story time today about how much fun reading can be. Reading is fun. Lots of fun books that you can read of all kinds. You can read about Mm, children, you can read about the zoo. You can read about other countries. You can read about going to sleep. You can read about almost anything you want. And we're going to start, before we read, with a little rhyme about reading a book. Can you make your hands look like a book? If you close them up like this, they will open and close like a book. Can you do that with me? Here is my book. I open it wide to see all the pictures that are inside. Here is my book. I open it wide to read all the words that are inside. Here is my book. I open it wide to see all the places I'll find inside. And you can find lots of good things in a book. Sometimes it can be serious, and sometimes it can be funny. I've got a story today that's kind of funny. Like I said, monkeys are mischievous, aren't they? That means they can get into a lot of trouble. They do lots of funny things. And this is Five Little Monkeys Reading in Bed. The author that wrote Five Little Monkeys is Ellen Cristolo. And she has written lots of books about the Five Little Monkeys. She's written something about them falling out of the bed and doing all kinds of fun things. So you'll have to look for some of the others. But today, I thought it would be fun to read about reading in bed. Let's find out what happens when the monkeys are reading in the bed. Okay. When the five little monkeys are ready for bed, their mama reads stories then kisses each head. It's bedtime for monkeys. Now turn out the light. Oh, mama, oh, please, one more story tonight. But mama's too tired. Can you see mama over there in the door? Mama's too tired. She's read more than four. Lights out, sweet dreams. She closes their door. One monkey whispers, this book is so, looks so good. If mama won't read it, then maybe we could. Uh-oh. The monkeys start reading. The story is sad. One monkey is weeping. 
that's crying, weeping. She's feeling so bad. It's snowing. <laughs> Their puppy is lost. Then out come the tissues. They all start to bawl. They sob and they cry till the last page of all. Oh, no! What happens next? And you can see they're looking at the puppy who's lost in the snow. Well, it's such a good ending. Their sobs turn to cheers. Those monkeys are loud. You should cover your ears. They're so noisy that Mama runs in. <gasps> What's all this racket? This chaos? This din? Mischievous monkeys. One monkey admits with a guilt-ridden look, we've been reading the very best happy sad book. Yay! Oops. Mama raises an eyebrow. What was it I said? Lights out, sweet dreams, no more reading in bed. Then one monkey sighs as she turns out the light. <sighs> I wish we could read this new ghost book tonight. Mm, ghost book, that could be scary. Just look at the goblin and the mean looking ghost. It's those shadowy bats that I like the most. One monkey starts hooting. An eerie ghost sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. And soon they're all wailing and jumping around in the bed. Then a dark, spooky shadow appears on the wall, but a knock on their door is what frightens them all. <gasps> it's the ghost, they all scream. But then... Mama walks in. What's all this racket? This chaos? This din? The monkeys all gasp. <gasps> we thought you were the ghost. This book is so scary, we like it the most. Mama raises an eyebrow. What was it I said? Do you remember what she said? Lights out. Sweet dreams. No more reading in bed. One monkey shivers. Ooh, that book was so creepy. So good, but so scary. I'll never be sleepy. I think the one saying that is the little one hiding under the covers. She pulls out a joke book. We've got to be quiet. But the jokes are so funny. In fact, they're a riot. The monkeys try hard not to giggle or laugh, but then there's a joke with a foolish giraffe. Why do giraffes have long necks? Do you know why giraffes have long necks? So they can wear lots of ties. <laughs> it's so silly, so goofy, they all start to roar. And then, can you guess who flings open the door? Who's going to come in the door? I bet you know. Oh, yes. It's Mama. She comes storming right in. What's all this racket? This chaos? This din? <laughs> the monkeys keep giggling. They just cannot quit. Mama picks up their books. I've had it. That's it. Then she raises an eyebrow. Did you hear what I said? Lights out. Sweet dreams. No more reading in bed. Well, the monkeys are tired. They're almost asleep. Look at their little eyes getting heavier. When they hear someone giggle, then laugh, and then weep. Weeping is crying. Do you hear all that noise? And just who can it be? Let's sneak down the hall. 
Can you guess what they see? Let's find out. It's Mama! Oh, Mama, they giggle. What was it you said? What did she say? Now they have to say it to her. Lights out, sweet dreams, no more reading in bed. Those monkeys are sleepy. They head out the door. Just wait till tomorrow, and then we'll read more. Good night, monkeys. And that is the end of Five Little Monkeys Reading in Bed. I wonder if you can help me count five little monkeys in their bed. Let's see if we can count them because we have one, two, three, four, five. They've all got their books and they are all reading in bed. Five little monkeys reading in bed. <gasps> one rolled off and bumped his head. Mama looked in and then she said, please lay down when you're reading in the bed. So how many are left now? One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys reading in the bed. One rolled off and bumped his head. Mama looked in and then she said, please lay down when you're reading in the bed. Now how many do we have left? One, two, three. Three little monkeys reading in the bed. One rolled off and bumped his head. Mama looked in and then she said, please lay down when you're reading in the bed. Two little monkeys reading in the bed. One rolled off and bumped his head. Mama looked in and then she said, please lay down when you're reading in the bed. Who's left? One little monkey reading in the bed. She rolled off and she bumped her head. Mama looked in and then she said, everyone get back in the bed. Let's count them as they get back in bed. Are you ready? One, Two, three, four, five. All five monkeys are back in the bed. Time for them to put their books away and go to sleep. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to read another fun story about reading. But this one does not have monkeys. This one has a dragon, and it's called Duncan the Story Dragon. Duncan the Story Dragon was written by this author, Amanda Driscoll. She wrote this story, Duncan the Story Dragon. Duncan has lots of books, doesn't he? Let's find out what happens to Duncan in his story, because he sure is having fun carrying those books, and I wonder where he's headed to. Let's see. We know what, what dragons do, right? When they breathe, what comes out of their mouth? Do you know? Sometimes fire and smoke. What do you think might happen if you've got a book with fire and smoke in your mouth? Hmm. When Duncan read a book, the story came to life. That means he used his imagination and he could imagine all the wonderful things that he was seeing in his book. It came to life in his mind for him. When Duncan read a book, the story came to life, and his imagination caught fire. Unfortunately, <gasps> so did the book. So when he gets excited about what he's seeing in the story, he gets so excited that his fire comes out of his mouth. Oh, no. I just want to finish a book, said Duncan. I need to know what happens. Do the pirates find treasure? Does the captain save the ship? Do the aliens conquer the earth? 
And I want to read those two wonderful words like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. When the book catches on fire, he never gets to the end of the book, does he? Poor Duncan. Duncan tried everything to keep his cool. Really. Truly. Everything. He tried the refrigerator. He tried fans. He tried a bathtub full of ice water. Can you see that? And the fire still came out of his mouth. He's even got a fire extinguisher to help put out the fire. Poor Duncan. I have an idea, said Duncan. I will find a friend to read with me. So off he goes to find a friend. Duncan searched a nearby neighborhood. Hello, friend, he said. Can you tell who that friend is? Hello, friend, he said to the raccoon. Would you please read me this book? Mm. <gasps> Woof! I think the raccoon got a little afraid. Duncan explored an evergreen forest because the raccoon kind of went away into the trash can. He went out into the evergreen forest. Hello, friend, he said to a possum. Could you please read me this book? Does the possum look scared? Do you know what possums do when they get afraid? They play like they're dead. And they don't move. So, plonk. Looks like the opossum is playing like he's dead. Duncan scared him. So Duncan traveled away, traveled to a faraway farm. Hello, friend, he said to the bull. Will you please read me this book? <gasps> yeah! Well, I think the shoe's on the other foot. I think Duncan's afraid of the bull now. Oh, well. After searching the entire countryside, Duncan trudged back to his cottage. And a cottage is another word for a small home. And he's walking back home because no one will read to him. As he hugged his book, a fat tear trickled down Duncan's cheek. It landed with a plop, and it dribbled, drabbled across the floor, then ran split splat into a mouse. What does the mouse have in his hands? Looks like he's got a little book. And the book says, The Friendly Dragon. He's reading about a dragon, and here comes Duncan. Sad ending, said the mouse. I'll never know, said Duncan. As Duncan explained his problem, he noticed a twinkle in the mouse's eye. Do you like books, Duncan asked. Said the mouse. Would you? Could you? Will you please read me this book? Certainly, said the mouse. So the mouse read to Duncan carefully. Together they battled sea monsters, dodged icebergs, all with that imagination in your brain that they're thinking with. And they discovered new lands. They took breaks for roasted hot dogs and toasted marshmallows. Who's cooking the hot dogs and marshmallows? Now his fire's kind of fun, isn't it? Finally, the friends sailed home. Then the mouse read those two wonderful words like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake, the end. Duncan got to the end of the book, didn't he? But actually, it was only the beginning. Because now that he has a friend to read with him, he can begin to read more new stories and then get to the end of it, just like the end of a delicious chocolate shake. And that is the end of Duncan the Story Dragon. So I hope you like those storybooks today about reading, and I hope that you are doing lots and lots and lots of reading at home with lots and lots of fun books. 
And if you're not, come to the library and get some fun books. You can read them and then bring them back and get some more to read. We would love for you to do that. So that's the end of this story time today. And I would like to sing our reading song about how much fun it is to read and how good it is to read. Are you ready to sing with me? The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the smarter we'll be. Read home books and school books and fun books and library books. The more we read together, the smarter we'll be. See you next time. Keep reading and keep getting smarter. Bye-bye.